and thanks for tuning in here to DivineMercy.tv. On this short video, I will explain to you the logo you see for Divine Mercy Network Incorporated. It's something I get asked about fairly regularly, so I decided to put the answer into a video. The idea to surround the image of Divine Mercy with these three colors came to me while reading the Bible. And our symbol or logo consists of the image of the Divine Mercy, which Jesus revealed to St. Faustina in a vision in February of 1931. The image then is surrounded with what I like to call the covenant colors. Now before I explain what this is, I want to let you know that I am working on a special video dedicated just to the image of the Divine Mercy, which Jesus revealed and wanted to have painted and then venerated the world over. In fact, the image you see that we use here for Divine Mercy Network and DivineMercy.tv is the original rendition. It is the only one directed by St. Faustina herself, the only one she ever saw. Although there are now many artists who have painted what Sister Faustina uh, records in her diary, uh, which I get into in the special video on the image. So look for that to post soon right here on DivineMercy.tv. Now back to this logo, if you will, or symbol for Divine Mercy Network. The reason I call these the covenant colors is that purple, scarlet, and blue are the colors that the Lord told Moses to use in the construction of the temple, specifically to cover the Ark of the Testimony. This is where the Ten Commandments were held. Now you can read about this in the book of Exodus, chapters 25 through 28, chapters 35 and 36, and also chapter 38. In fact, you can pull that scripture up directly on another page right here on DivineMercy.tv, which I suggest you do after this video finishes. It's truly fascinating to read how God directed Moses to design and build the temple. Now these colors surrounded the Holy of Holies in the temple, separating what was called the holy place from the most holy place where the Ten Commandments were kept in the ark and on which was found the mercy seat. Now that whole design was an Old Testament foreshadowing of the mysteries of our redemption in Jesus Christ, who is the eternal high priest, whose sacrifice on Calvary is eternally present to the Father in heaven in expiation and reparation for the sins of humanity. The old ark carried the Ten Commandments. The new ark of the covenant is Mary, the Immaculate Virgin Mother, who carried in her womb and gave birth to Jesus Christ, who we know is the fulfillment of the old covenant promises of mercy found in both the law and the prophets. This is why one of the Virgin Mary's many titles includes her being called the Mother of Mercy. So how do these colors, taken directly from what God told Moses to cover the Ark of the Covenant with, relate specifically to our effort here at DivineMercy.tv and contribute to our understanding of the mission we share? The answers can be found in our Catholic liturgical worship where we see these three colors reminding us of certain truths. In the purple, we are reminded of God's divinity. Purple is traditionally and liturgically related to royalty, Christ's kingship. In the scarlet or red, we are of course reminded of the precious blood of Christ which he shed on Calvary as our merciful Savior. So we see divine in the purple and mercy in the scarlet. In the blue, we Catholics are always reminded of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who brings her children to Christ and Christ to her children. Mary, the Blessed Mother, brings people together, as only moms can do. She does so under her blue mantle, and it is in that that I saw the network. So again we see in the purple, divine, in the red, mercy, and in the blue, network. These are the colors of the Divine Mercy Network. Now one more significant bit of information I find very interesting related to our logo and these colors uh, that I'll give you to ponder as you discern how you perhaps are called to participate in building up this Divine Mercy Network. Recently I showed our logo, or symbol if you will, for Divine Mercy Network, 
to the vice postulator for St. Faustina's cause of canonization, one of my best friends and a true spiritual father, the world-renowned expert on St. Faustina and Divine Mercy, Father Seraphim Michaelenko, a member of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. I asked Father Seraphim if he knew why God would choose out of the millions of possibilities with colors, those three specific colors to cover the ark and to play such a central role in the ancient temple, which was specifically directed by God himself, down to the last detail. Father Seraphim's answer blew me away, and uh, to be honest, still sends shivers up my spine when I think about how profound this is. When I think about the Sacred Heart of Jesus, his answer as to why God would choose these three colors of purple, scarlet, and blue is that these are the main colors of the human heart. Have you ever seen a picture or a diagram of the human heart? It's purple, red, and blue. Now, this isn't a picture of what I'm showing you now, but it's a typical diagram of a human heart. Check out those colors. Of course, this also includes the colors found in the sacred human heart of Jesus Christ, who is the Divine Mercy. On our mission page, we have this link to the this colorful diagram showing all three colors. And uh, also we, as a matter of fact, on that page have a link to an interesting page that shows how the temple was constructed and many details related to the ancient temple. But any doubt I had as to my choice of colors to surround the sacred image of Divine Mercy for the purposes of this Divine Mercy Network instantly vanished after hearing that answer from Father Seraphim and uh, considering it in addition to the connection that I had already seen to the temple in Exodus. So there it is, my friends. The colors come from the mouth of God in sacred scripture. They relate to our Catholic liturgy and even relate to biology. I love it when a plan comes together. Thanks for watching and remember to pray for Divine Mercy Network. I'm John Cruz. We'll see you next time. <music>